Hi, cooking friends. Welcome back to Cooking with Shotgun Red, and I'm Jennifer. And I'm Sheila. And if you're joining us for the first time, welcome. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Yes, and ring that bell. And we will notify you every time we have a new recipe coming out. And give us that thumbs up if you enjoy. And welcome back to all of our regular subscribers. And this recipe today is a staple down in the South. So we're going to take you back and show you how it's done. We are starting out by dicing about four celery sticks. And we're gonna dice these really thin. Then some red onion, about half a cup, slicing it pretty thin. And then we're gonna go ahead and dice these up so they're small. It's gonna add a lot of great flavor also. And then we have about two cups of shredded chicken. And this is pre-cooked chicken. Now you could use a rotisserie chicken or you could Pre-cook it yourself, but I like to start out by seasoning the meat. One teaspoon of onion powder and one teaspoon of garlic powder. Sprinkle that in. And this is a staple for us. We always use garlic powder and onion powder. So we'll mix that in. Stir it in good. Completely coating it. Then one teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of pepper, and half a teaspoon of paprika. And this is just your regular paprika. I mean, you could use smoked, but I'm just using the regular one here. We're getting some flavor in here. Absolutely. So I'm gonna reserve just a little bit of this cause I'm gonna use it a little later. So mix those seasonings in too. Blend all that together. Make sure that it's coated. And then. Adding the diced celery. That we diced up earlier. That's gonna give it a nice crunch and some crumbled up bacon. Gotta have bacon. Ooh, this is gonna be good. Yes. And this is pre-cooked bacon. Really good. Toss that around a little bit. Can't make a great southern dish without some bacon. No, that's right, you can't. <laughs> Gotta have some bacon. We love bacon. That's right. So now we're gonna add half a cup of diced red onion. And put that in there. Fourth cup of shaved almonds. Ooh, I love almonds. And this is just mm. like your salad toppers. We just got it, they were already shaved, ready to go. Simple, but it adds a little crunch in there as well. That's what makes a great chicken salad, I think so. Talking about some flavor here. Mm. It's mm -hmm. gonna be good. So we're gonna mix all that together and then. Some lemon juice. And this is about one teaspoon of lemon juice. And that's gonna also add a really nice flavor. So we're gonna combine all that together. Half a cup of mayonnaise. Then we've got half a cup of sour cream. Add that in. Now some people like to add in some uh, cream of chicken soup, but I personally just like the sour cream and the mayonnaise. To me, it makes it easier to slice the pie but if you want to add the cream of chicken in there, you can. It's an option. So we're just gonna mix that right in here. Well, look at you go, Jen. That's right. <laughs> Put it on fast forward. <laughs> She's gonna get this done. Speed stirring. <laughs> <laughs> you know we gotta have some cheese. That's right. One cup of shredded cheddar. And we'll reserve a little bit. Leave a little bit though for later. That's right. We'll mix that in and that's gonna help keep everything together as well. So once we get all that in there and completely combined, we are just gonna take it and set it aside and work on our pie. Then we have some refrigerated pie crust. And these are room temperature pie crusts. Just roll it out, put it in the pie dish. And we're just gonna gently press that into the pie dish, kind of shaping it around. And this is a pretty deep pie dish, so um, I'm gonna need a little bit more because I want to do some fluted edges. So we have the second pie crust in the box already. And so I'm gonna go ahead and use that to make my fluted edges. Unrolled the second pie crust and cut out a large circle. Yeah, just take it around the edges here. And I will use this other section for some other, some other recipe or I'll make some meat pies or something with it. So we're just gonna take this off and these 
refrigerated pie crusts are fairly inexpensive. We'll save that for later. That's right. Roll it up, put it aside. Now, put it on the edge of the pie plate. And we'll just gently press this in. Don't you just love that trick? It is a great trick. And you just kind of press it right into the dough and all the way around till it's in there and then start working on your fluted edges. And just work your way around the edge of the pie dish. We did the same thing in our tomato bacon ranch pie also. I'll put that link above. Having fluted edges just makes it look even more appetizing. It does, it really does. Let's see how pretty that looks. So now that we got all the fluted edges done and our pie crust is ready to go. Then we will take our chicken salad mixture and add it to the dish. So we're gonna scoop that into the pie. And if you notice, we didn't have to pre-cook this pie crust. We're going right into the uncooked pie crust. I'm gonna spread that out in here and look at that. And just mm. take your spoon and just kind of spread it around evenly. And once we get all that in there, we're gonna take the remainder of our shredded cheddar cheese and sprinkle that on top. You know how we like cheese too. We like bacon, cheese, and butter. Because <laughs> everything is better with cheese. Once we get all that shredded cheddar on there, then we went and picked up some Ruffles cheddar and sour cream flavor. And that's gonna add a great flavor to the top. Now some people just use plain Lay's potato chips, but I like the cheddar and sour cream. We slightly crumbled up some, so we will place them on top of the pie. And this is about a cup of them. And just crumbling those up like bite size. This is gonna add a lot of flavor and some crunch also to the top of the pie, which is great. So once we get all those laid out on top. Our oven is preheated to 375 degrees. And we're gonna place this in the oven uncovered for now. And let it bake about 40 to 45 minutes. All right, so we're gonna check it out and see how it's looking. Looks like it's getting a little dark on the edges. It does, so we're gonna take a piece of foil and we're just gonna cover it here. And place it back in the oven for the last 10 minutes. We removed the foil and look at that, yummy. Mmm, delicious. Oh, the top of that pie looks great. Doesn't it? Crumbled up potato chips. Oh yeah. And who don't like potato chips? Yes, lots of flavor. It smells delicious. It does, really. I want the first piece. All right. As usual. Exactly. <laughs> Look at that. Yep. Delicious. We're going to slice a piece out of here. Give it a try. Well, I like chicken, and I like pie, and I like salad. <laughs> so this chicken salad pie sounds really good. It does sound good. We'll just get ourselves a slice. Mmm. As Steve would say, is this the best hot chicken salad pie you've ever tried? If it ain't, it ought to be. We'll see you next time right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. Bye. Well, that's she, she, and Jen, Jen, them two girls having too much fun. We hope you enjoy this recipe, and we really hope you subscribe to our channel. That's easy. Little Shotgun Red's face will pop up over here in a little bit. When you click on it, it'll say subscribe. Then you're subscribed. Next to it, it'll be a little notification bell. If you click that little bell, then YouTube will send you every single one of our recipes or a notification that we posted one as soon as it comes out. See you next time right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. Is this the best? If it ain't, it ought to be.